Hello friends, welcome to my new exciting tutorial of 3D Max. I am Abhishek Inamdar. Today I will show you how to make occlusion pass in 3D Max. Uh, but my previous tutorial was uh, I have used Melter Ray. But uh, in this occlusion pass, we will make occlusion pass very fast at lightning speed, you can say. So, so let's get started. I'll take this material. I'll, I'll just off this thing. I'll make slightly gray and slightly this one also gray. This one will white. Just like that. And I'll select the model. I don't want anything in this thing. I don't want even lights. Select all objects. Material, I'll just sign this material. I'll go in <coughs> lights. I'll take standard light. I'll take skylight. I don't want any other light to my view. Just till it all everything else. This was my previous setup of light. I'll press 8. I don't want all those things. I'll just clear it off. Go in the entry. Light tracer. And I'll say render. I'll just pause my video. So we can just pause my video for rendering. This was the output. Basically, uh, uh, the total render it takes uh, 23 seconds, but uh, I still want uh, total white. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll go on in material. I'll just increase my self elimination by 10. Diffuse color is white, no problem. I'll just increase this more. And now again, I'll pause my render. So this was the output. So this was the tutorial for uh, now. This this was the occlusion pass I want to show you in not using a V-ray and not using mental ray. Basically, in uh, light tracer uh, T full scan and render we can use. So if you like my tutorial, do subscribe my channel that is Keyframes Online. If you have uh, some request about like if you want some kind of tutorial, do let me know. I'll try to make. Uh, as per my schedules like you know so by then uh, enjoy